Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with the leasing and marketing manager of Tortola Pear Park, Ms. Meslin Allen. Welcome to Spotlight. Good to see you. Hi, thank you for having me. Yes, there's a lot of excitement in the air, yes. as you well know, about the Pear Park. Uh, we had a grand time with the opening of the Pear and the uh, inaugural visit of uh, the Getaway right. from Norwegian Cruise Line. And now we're getting ready to open up the landside development. How is that coming? It's coming well. We are really excited about the grand opening. Um, plans are in full gear, getting everything together. We've spoken to Disney and MSC who are fully on board and will be on, in port for the grand opening. So we're expecting around um, 7,200 people to be on island for the grand opening. We have some great things in store. And of course, um, that will be the inaugural visit for Disney at that time. Mm. You know, so we're really excited. The cruise lines are excited. The tenants are excited. And everyone is working very, very diligently to get everything together for that big day. Great. And you have um, the, all the spaces uh, rented out and all the tenants are in and everything is, will be ready to go at that time? Well, we have um, just about most of the spaces are uh, already committed. We have a few spaces available. Um, some are, most of them are on the upper floor. We have availabilities for a spa on the upper floor, as well as we have actually a ground space now available for a restaurant, fine dining, um, in building four on the, lower, on the lower floor. So, you know, we have just a few spaces left, but, you know, we are very happy with persons who have come on board and have joined our mar marriage with the TPP. So we are expecting great things. And a lot of our local tenants have come up with some great, unique concepts, which, w which is why we can say to everyone that, you know, our cruise pier would be distinct, will be very different from any other cruise pier within the region. And you would not have the same feel that you will have in, say, St. Thomas or St. Martin. So we're not going to be packed with just jewelry stores no. and little boutiques and clothing and... Uh, what um, what was going to be some? What are some of the stores gonna, that's going to be in the in the pair park? Well, the first thing that makes um, us distinct from everyone else is as you step off of the cruise ship, the first our welcome center, our welcome building is only local tenants that are in that building. We're locally made products, anything ranging from earrings to jewelry to juices to lotions, you know, just completely local to even replicas. So, you know, that in itself is mm. really phenomenal and persons are really enjoying the experience even now as we are not quite um, open yet. But we, we will have additional um, jewelry, we'll have um, internet cafes, we'll have various clothing store for both men and women. We'll have a mix of, you know, the international brands that are well known as far as clothing and accessories, as well as some Caribbean designs, which will be, you know, awesome. And we'll have a lot of food options within the pier park as well. Right. Now you have a, a space for a restaurant and I, the, the rumor was that you had that already locked up, mm -hmm. that there was someone coming in so now what you're saying is that is not the case and, and you're still looking for, you're still requesting proposals for uh, a, a restaurant in the, in the park? Well, as I told you, we have quite a few restaurants there and we do have an availability now for uh, a fine dining. We have other restaurant facilities, but we have an uh, opening now for fine dining. So it's more of an upscale restaurant. Right. So what you right. have, you know, like like diners and, and yes. cafes and, and, and so on. All of that good stuff. Okay. So we have availability for that. Um, we'll be putting out letting persons, you know, have the opportunity to apply to have that um, opportunity as well as the one for the spa on the upper floors as well. Okay. And persons wanting to take advantage of that opportunity must call, uh, right? Right. They, um, they will contact me as a leasing manager of the Pier Park, um, letting us know of their interest in the space. We also have a few kiosk spaces available if persons are interested um, smaller, for smaller local businesses. And they write to me. Uh, my name is Meslin Allen. I'm the Leasing and Marketing Manager. They can get me via email at um, mallen at bviports.org or via telephone at 440-1399. Okay, say the telephone number again. 440-1399. Okay, great. So now, when is the, uh, the grand opening of the, the Pear Park? 
The grand opening for the Pear Park is December 22nd. That's on a Tuesday. Um, a few weeks ago, we unveiled some of our stores. We unveiled about 35 stores. Very exciting. Um, mm -hmm. We also launched our website. Um, so, and we do have some more stores to unveil. And we're hoping that everyone would be ready and on board for the grand opening for December 22nd. So you're hoping to get everything completed, including the spa and the fine dining restaurant? We're hoping uh, to have um, majority of the facilities um, operational by that time, um, probably with the exception of one building, which is Building 5. But we are on track for a very, very good opening and for an exceptional shopping, dining, and entertainment facility for the BVI. Okay, great. And so what we've got, what, what, what we have planned for the opening? Well, we're still in the planning stages, but um, I'll be back and I'll be giving you all a bit more details about what to expect for the opening. But, you know, we really wanted to let everyone know that the Pear Park is going to be, in fact, an open facility, not just for cruise passengers, but we'll be welcoming our local community as well as overnight guests to, to the facility. So how, how long... Uh, 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 a, a day period will the park be open? Will it be open 24 hours, 9 hours, 12 hours? Our regular operational hours are um, slated right now for 9 a.m. to about 6 p.m. Um, we know that there'll be some places like restaurants and stuff who would open a little later, probably at, until about 11 p.m. or 12 p.m. So we do expect the stores to be open, but the regular operational hours is between 9 and 6. And Anyone can go to the park at any time? Anyone can when, go to the park open? at any time, even if a cruise ship is in while it's open. Okay, and so if we're not concerned, there is no concern by, the, by Disney and, 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 and Norwegian about the, the, the intermixing of the local uh, customers with the, the cruise customers. Who's no, passengers? there's actually um, there's actually facilities in place. There'll be an, uh, areas um, closer to the the cruise dock where um, persons cannot go but for the most part the entire facility is open to the public okay so the, so the dock itself is secure right then that is a, a well i suppose a prohibited area mm -hmm. a, a, a secure area right but the pear park is a regular it's an open facility, it's an open facility and facility. everyone can come and enjoy everything we have to offer we will be having free Wi-Fi throughout the park. As I mentioned before, we'll have an internet cafe, we'll have an art gallery, we'll have banking services, telecommunication services, we'll have food and beverage tour operators. So it will be quite an amazing facility. What about, entertain what about entertainment? We definitely do plan on doing quite a, a, an extensive entertainment platform where we hopefully soon will be welcoming persons to you know, show their interest to have entertainment within the park. We're encouraging, um, we're encouraging persons and event planners to have events there. We actually have our first wedding coming up for the Pear Park in December. Mm. So that again is very exciting. And you know, it's a great venue. We will have outdoor and indoor spaces available for events. So it'll be, you know, quite, quite an experience. What about, um like park facilities, you know, just to come and relax, benches absolutely. and grass we'll have and have a picnic and just the kids run around and all of that. Yes, we'll actually have facilities again for kids um, within the park as well. So it would be exciting and we would have entertainment different from, you know, a planned event. We will have entertainment throughout the park as well. So it will be very great. It will be an awesome atmosphere for persons to just come and relax and enjoy themselves while they're at the Pear Park. Okay. And the opening is it, the hope the general public is invited to the opening. Yes, and we'll give a little bit more details about that as the time gets closer. Mm -hmm. um, but it, but the grand opening again is is October. Sorry, is December twenty second, um, and it would be open to the public. And we'll give the details as far as the timing and everything like that um, okay. closer on. There was a, some concerns about. Uh, the completion of the park in relationship to the contractual arrangements mm -hmm. with the two um, major partners, uh, mm -hmm. cruise line partners. Uh, is there any concern? Uh, should, should, should the public be concerned about that relationship and how it's going to affect the park if we are not, if everything is not completed in, in the satisfaction of 
the cruise lines? Is that something we should be concerned about? Well, a couple of things. One, we'll be having um, weekly meetings with the cruise lines, and they're well aware of our progress, and they're you know in line with everything that we are doing, and they're well on board and in support of everything, and excited as we are for the grand opening. And of course, um, you know, project management has indicated that the buildings, all of the buildings, we have about 11 in total, so about 10 of the buildings will be completed um, as of the end of this month. So, you know, and, and we already have about half of them already completed. So it's really exciting and tenants, additional tenants have started their fit out. We're expecting uh, about a few more tenants to be open coming this next week. So, you know, we are really excited. It's coming along. The cruise season is picking up and we're excited to, you know, have this great um, facility to welcome the additional guests and our local community. Okay. We haven't seen any other um, cruise lines uh, come to the dock as yet, or at least I haven't seen it. Right. Um, ha ha have there been any yes. others? And uh, can we expect uh, the same uh, uh, amount of different cruise lines coming into port, like um, Carnival? I know that's a big concern of many right. uh, taxi operators. Mm -hmm. um, Royal Caribbean uh, was a one, one person, uh, it was a, a cruise line that was bidding for the park, mm -hmm. for the partnership, mm -hmm. uh, and we know we had a little challenge with them. Are these people on board? Uh, how, how is that working? Are that relationship being repaired? We've already, um, we've already received um, additional cruise lines. I know within the summer months we had um, New Vision once a week, but that has since changed and we, have welcome, we are welcoming more cruise ships to our shores. And as we go deeper into November and into December and into January, things pick up quite drastically. Mm -hmm. We'll be having several cruise ships a week. Um, we are already ha um, having more than one cruise ship a week. And we are, you know, we are welcoming persons like Pure Cruising and cruises and various other cruise lines to our shores. We're in talks with other cruise lines to, you know, concrete certain deals, but we do expect um, all the cruise lines to be on board with, with what we are doing. Okay. I know we have plans, uh, and this is a short segment, mm -hmm. and I know we have plans to have you back uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks, I think. Right. Well, well actually, actually it's, um, early next month. Yeah. Yes, to, to give a whole detail yes. outline. Of, I'm, I'm saving a whole show for you. Yes. To do a whole detail outline of what we can expect and what's to happen in the cruise, uh, in the cruise industry and with the Tortola Pair Park. Mm -hmm. Anything that we've missed that you want to um, convey to the public before we leave? Um, no, it's just really, you know, getting persons excited about the facility. It's our, it's our facility. This will be a great addition. This will be a great impact for our cruise industry as well as our tourism industry. And, you know, we're just encouraging everyone to get excited, to get on board um, as we, you know, open this great asset to the BVI. And, of course, again, it is, in fact, an a, a open facility because of a lot of persons have come to us and said, well, is it going to be an open park? I've heard that it's not. So I wanted to wanna get that in. out there yeah. <laughs> and yeah. say, yes, it would, in fact, yeah. be an open facility and persons will be able to enjoy all the shopping, and the dining, and entertainment that we have to offer. That's great. Well, it's good to have you, have had you, and we're looking forward to having you again soon to, yes. to, to tell us all about the ac activities that's going to be happening during the opening. It's and exciting. The mu you, I mean, I don't, is there anything prepared as yet and I, I know you still got a, a, a ways to go mm -hmm. a couple of more um, about three or so uh, three or so more weeks ago mm -hmm. but is there any information you gave us about uh, bands playing um you know mocha jumbies uh, razor blades lashing dogs you know <laughs> showtime uh, the bands the food mm -hmm. any anything you could tell us right now about what's planned for the opening well, not quite yet, mm -hmm. but I'll definitely encourage persons to visit our website or, and to follow us on Facebook, um, Twitter, and Instagram for the most recent updates. You know, that's where you get your information first. If you can't get us, all the information will definitely be there for you to access. Um, if you have any questions, you know, our staff is very willing and able to answer all the questions you may have or any concerns. But we are out there. I mean, it's, it's a really proud moment for the government of the BVI, for BVI Ports Authority, and for TPP to have, you know, this great facility, this great development, and be able to launch something that, you know, which would shape and change the future for the BVI.
TBI. Absolutely. And the, the great economic activity that we expect yes. from it. So the, the, the country's got high expectations from that invest, uh, for that ex investment. So we're looking forward certainly to have it open, fully functional, and to benefit the whole territory to benefit. Yes, from absolutely. It. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming by. All right. Thank you for having me. Yes. We're going to take a break. For a word from our sponsors. Of course, we've been talking to Ms. Meslin Allen of the Ports Authority, Tortola Pear Park, and she's uh, give us a brief update about what's uh, to come with the opening of the Pear Park. We're going to have her back, I think, on November the 3rd, I mean, on, on December, I think, the 3rd, and, um, well, the first week in December, let me put it that way, and we're going to be talking about uh, what's happening, a full-fledged account of what's going to be happening for the upcoming opening of Tortola Pear Park, so make sure you stay tuned in to the spotlight. When we come back, we're going to come back with Ms. Annie Fred Malone and Ms. Clarissa Benjamin Smith, and we're going to be talking about the upcoming workshop for adoptive and foster parents and uh, how that's come along and what our foster care and adoptive parent program is looking like here in the BVI. It's going to be some very important information. Don't go away. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited, the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, and CCT Global Communications.